Okay, today's lesson is the Boyer box, <coughs> the black box of infamy. Today we're not going to use the two stator plate connections, the yellow and black and the white and black. We are just going to check the integrity of the Boyer box with the coil that is off the bike. This is the Lucas coil, many years, 50,000 plus miles on this coil easily. And I've felt it, and it's been really hot at times, and run really well at times, and seems to be a problem other times. So we're going to test the integrity of this Lucas coil. We have it hooked up, red to ground of the battery. From the battery, we have a lead going to the uh, positive side of the coil, grounding the coil, and to the negative side of the coil, the power in, basically. We have the black wire from the Boyer box and the triple wire harness that comes out of that black box here. Now the white is our power into the Boyer box so we're going to connect that to our battery directly to the negative side as it would be a key ignition uh, then it would receive power to the white wire. So this is a really simple demonstration of how the Boyer is set up. Now off the coil we have the high tension lead off the bike that we're using so we're going to check the actual spark from the coil to the wire that is also coming off of the positive ground side of the coil, which is going to act as our frame basically or our engine. And the spark plug we're going to omit. Uh, we're going to just use the direct high tension coil end. Now when we connect this, hope you can see this, we should have a single spark jumping from the high tension coil to the wire grounding on the positive side of the coil. I'm only touching once. We're getting an inconsistent spark off there. At times we're getting one, other times we're getting double. Now we're getting multiple. Double hits, triple, triple, quadruple. Very inconsistent results for single touches of the power. Now, when I was attached to the bike, it was intensely sparking, so there might have been some other problems, but as we can see, the coil is letting go more than one spark when the boyer is connected to the power. except when gapped out where you have a single spark, even a double spark though. It's jumping further but at spark plug gap size it's definitely hitting more than once for each connection. Now let's quickly hook up the Bosch coil. We're going to disattach our red ground. Take that off. Now this coil has been through a lot of abuse, I'll say that. Take our black wire off our po uh, negative post of our coil. Take that away. We're going to put in this large Bosch coil, which I actually might mount and try out. We're going to attach again our double lead from the positive ground side of the coil. And we're going to attach one of those leads with our red wire from our Boyer box to the red side of the battery, the positive side, which is ground on the British bike. Now we're going to use that extra lead as our connector for the uh, spark test. Now we're going to attach the black wire to the positive, or to the negative, sorry, of the coil, which is a power in in this case. Now we're going to take our spark plug lead and we're going to test the spark of the Bosch coil. And no matter how hard I try, I'm only getting one spark. Okay, 
double spark there. But it's behaving a lot more predictably than the Lucas coil. And where it's double sparking, I think it's actually hitting two of these small wires off the uh, coil ground tip. So, But it's much more consistent as a one spark indicator that the boyer is operating properly. And it gaps out quite far, so... Ow! That's enough of that. <laughs> Have a good night.